Opportunities to reverse America's course are abundant. Our constitutional system and cultural traditions continue to protect the freedom to speak out without fear of reprisal. And a giant advantage for the defenders of freedom is simply the desire to be free. At the same time, the internationalists fear an aroused and organized American public. They work to misinform and confuse so that the public won't know where to turn for real leadership. Leadership for effective opposition to the globalist agenda. Rather than cutting at the ever-expanding branches of UN programs, wielding a sharp axe to the root of the UN tree would assure a more permanent result. In this case, the root of that tree is United States membership in the UN. U.S. withdrawal would stop the UN subversion of our nation and ultimately cause the UN to wither and die. Serving as the axe is the House of Representatives. It has the power to kill U.S. membership in the U.N. simply by refusing to fund any part of the U.N. program. A majority of 218 votes could effectively get us out of the U.N. In 1997, the first measure calling for the termination of the United States membership in the United Nations came before the House. 54 representatives voted in favor. Two years later, 74 representatives voted to cease all funding to the UN. At present, the remainder of the House lacks the backbone to resist the influence of the internationalists. The key to changing that condition, however, is taking place in communities across America. What is well understood by the internationalists is the power of organization. It's why they've invested so much effort building it. In turn, those who cherish freedom must also organize in order to maximize their impact. And that's what this Carter kit is designed for. Vice President of the John Birch Society, Tom Gow. Congressmen are focused on job security and getting reelected. And the Founding Fathers intended it that way when they set up the House of Representatives to be responsive to the, uh, the American people in, the, in their local communities. And the internationalists know that, and that's why they've invested so much time in trying to gain influence in the organs of mass communication so they can influence that public opinion. And it's very difficult for the uh, congressman to fight that influence, fight the heat and the emotion that's generated in the nightly news and whatnot, unless, uh, unless there's some, they have some means or see a, vo a voice for sanity that's reaching their constituents. And that's one of the roles of the John Birch Society, or a primary function of the John Birch Society, is to provide that voice. Informed constituent pressure is essential in order for Congress to sever UN ties. CEO of the John Birch Society, G. Vance Smith. We have a great campaign. We have uh, uh, all kinds of tools. We have wonderful pamphlets uh, that will really help people to understand what's going on. We have billboards, books, videos, all kinds of important things relative to, to, to this campaign, tools for this campaign. But those are not the campaign. The objective of the campaign is to, is to change the individual, to help the individual understand how important their freedom is and the fact that they're going to have to do something about it. The only way there's going to be change is when the American people, individually, one at a time, wake up and do something. So our campaign is to empower people under organized leadership to work together to bring about this change. With that kind of pressure, that they, can, that they can put on the members of the House of Representatives, upon their own congressmen, they can bring about change. But there has to be a concerted action program. Ultimately, the outcome is determined by the inspired action of individuals across this great land. We really need the American people, while there is still time, to stand up for freedom 
and to stop the plans of the United Nations and in fact to get us, the United States, out of the United Nations.